For over 300 years, the Romany Gypsies of the UK and Ireland have converged on the hamlet of Appleby, England in the Lakes District. This centuries-old tradition exhibits not only the Gypsy culture, but their proud and special horses, which are the result of a half-century breeding program. To breed a horse colorful enough to pull their vardos, the beautifully crafted wagons the Gypsies call home and complement their serendipitous lifestyle. To bring this tradition of the gypsy culture, their colorful horses, and the spirits of this annual event to Canada and North America, Deerfield Stables Country Inn in Caledon, Ontario, hosted the first of what they hope will be an annual event in this hemisphere. The Gypsy Vanner Fair in Canada was created to honor the commitment to breeding the finest gypsy horses that was started by the Romany Gypsies. and now is celebrated on both sides of the planet. It may have been coincidence that the morning of the fair would find the Caledon hills and valleys shrouded in an English fog, as if to recreate the hills surrounding Appleby. Spectacular fall color may have been absent from the landscape, but the colorful Gypsy Vanner horses more than made up for the absence of the changing of the leaves during the first ever North American Vanner Fair, held at Deerfield Stables Country Inn. Thousands of visitors attended the spectacular event which showcased this beautiful horse in competition and later musically choreographed demonstrations. With many attendees experiencing an up close and personal rapport with these magical horses who are winning hearts and attracting new equestrian converts across North America. The event maximized the gathering of horses and horse owners as educational clinics were conducted, demonstrations were provided, and Gypsy Vanner horses for sale were showcased for the public. all in the surrounding and environment of a Renaissance Fair on the beautiful grounds of Deerfield Stables Country Inn. Deerfield's owner Jim Wilson generously opened a spectacular private club inn and spa to the public for the day of activities. 
which included an impressive boutique craft and trade fair featuring specialty vendors, arts and crafts from across the hills of Headwaters region, continuous live gypsy music entertainment, European style jugglers and clowns, wine tasting and gourmet food, all held within the scenic Tuscany atmosphere of the Deerfield Stables Country Inn and Spa. Welcome to Deerfield. This is how we do it here. Everything imaginable was on display and available for purchase for the thousands of spectators who came to enjoy the hospitality of the Vanner Fair. Why, you could even get a specially made Gypsy Vanner tattoo to share your passion for the Gypsy horses. Visitors could walk through the stables and meet the horses personally, getting an up-close and personal look at these special creatures with their origin in the UK. Even the dogs were enjoying the festive atmosphere found here this weekend. and convert to Gypsy Vanners. Owner Jim Wilson was justifiably proud of the tremendous impact of the event for the relatively unknown breed in North America, with Vanner owners and breeders trekking from across the USA and Canada for the inaugural event. It was on a cold winter day of Pickton, Ontario. We had a little meeting and we sat around a little inn and decided that the Canadians to put on a banner fair. And our counterparts around the world were absolutely thrilled that we took that initiative. And it's through the hard work of our Gypsy Banner Horse Society in the U.S. and all the members and all the hard work of our Canadian club that has pulled this vision off that we all enjoy today. 
members of the Canadian Gypsy Vanner Horse Club and the U.S. Gypsy Vanner Horse Society created a memorable experience for equestrian horse lovers and the general public. Dennis Thompson, who imported the first Gypsy Vanners into the U.S., and with his wife Cindy, created the Gypsy Vanner Society and first registry in the U.S., was also in attendance to witness and celebrate the explosion in popularity of this breed in Canada. Dennis Thompson, who is the founder of the breed, who brought these beautiful creatures to North America in 1996. Standing room only for every performance, the Vanner Mystique was in full swing as these engaging horses worked the audience, both in the competition ring and later when their proud owners allowed visitors to pet, feed, photograph, and even sit astride these beautiful yet docile horses.
Spectators were not only able to see and admire these beautiful horses in competition and showmanship, but understand how they are evaluated and what truly makes an outstanding horse in confirmation and in performance tests. World-renowned clinician, judge, and breed expert Wayne Hipsley conducted clinics and seminars over the run of the event to increase understanding and knowledge about this breed, still relatively new to North America. On the last day of the event, inspections were held of many of the Gypsy Vanners, documenting and critiquing the confirmation and substance of each horse examined. This information becomes invaluable in planning out and executing a well-thought-out breeding program to ensure the best characteristics of the Gypsy Vanners are bred forward. In competition, the big winners of the event were Gypsy Elite Zero Enco, ridden by Pam Litch of Monclova, Ohio. With the reserve title going to Vanner Manners Candy Queen, ridden by Shyla Cardi of the Welland St. Catharines community. Enco Gypsy Vanner received the Best in Fair Perpetual Challenge Trophy, a specially commissioned bronze sculpture created by international equine artist June Towel Brown. Shyla Carty, as reserve champion, received a state-of-the-art German engineered saddle, courtesy of Barefoot Saddles of Canada. One of the traditions of the Appleby Fair in England is the swimming of the horses in the River Eden, something spectators from all over the country come to watch.
in acknowledgement of the centuries-old tradition. The Gypsy Venner Fair symbolically closed with the big splash when all the participants frolicked bareback with their Gypsy Venner horses in the crystal spring-fed lake of Deerfield Stables Country Inn, all to the delight of the spectators covering the surrounding hills. On the last day of the event, before the guests had to pack up and head back home, the Gypsy Vanners and their owners enjoyed a leisurely trail ride over the hills and trails of the Deerfield Stables to contemplate the success of the event just hosted and to think about next year's event. The trail ride was an appropriate metaphor for the relationship these people have with their horses enjoying a one-to-one -one relationship with their horse, exploring nature, and taking in the sunshine and light breezes and the beauty of all that surrounds them, all in the camaraderie of good friends and good horses in beautiful, peaceful surroundings. Does it get any better than this? Jim Wilson and his enthusiastic staff hope to make this an annual event, celebrating the history and heritage of this special breed of horse, the Gypsy Vanner. Join us next time for a fun-filled and educational celebration of the pride of the Romani people.